Emila Nechoka. Welcome to Damn Weird. And in this, I'm going to attempt to organize my collective thoughts on uh, various unusual events and things and people that have occurred and things I've studied. Just a way to organize them here onto YouTube for me. Now we're going to start with some of the easier things simply because we need kind of a foundation for our studies, for something to look at. These are things that maybe shouldn't exist, but do. The Emila Natoka is a legendary creature from Central Africa. Its name means killer of elephants. The description of Emila Natoka would be the size of an African forest elephant at about 10 and a half feet by about 13,200 pounds. It would have a brown color, gray, color coat or skin, and it supposedly has a single horn with a long tail. Also, it would show similarities with a rhinoceros for its heavy body. The Emula Nitoka possibly needs strong muscular legs. It would be feed on the Malambo plant. Keeping its massive body above ground level supposedly requires four short stump-like legs. Is described as having no frills or ridges along the neck. The animal is alleged to be semi-aquatic and feed on the malambo and other leafy plants. The Amila notoka is claimed to utter a vocalization described as a snout, rumble, or growl. The structure of the horn is debated among writers on this subject. The debate runs thus. If the horn is ivory, then it would be a tusk and not a horn at all. Some rhinoceros do have tusks, especially the Asiatic one-horned kinds, but these are not known to inhabit Africa. If the horn is made of bone, then the creature is a reptile, as horns could be made of keratin, as are the horns of African rhinos. However, without a specimen to examine, any attempt to classify the Amula Natoka, by this method, can only be speculative. Amula Natoka seems to resemble Ceratopsian, a type of dinosaur with horns like the Stegosaurus and the famous Triceratops. According to Dr. Roy Mackle, who's searching the Congo with the Mukili Momembe, collected accounts of these Amula Natoka. Cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman, however, believed it is an aquatic rhinoceros rather than a Serapsian. Melanotoka is high, slightly larger than an elephant, which it reportedly hunts. A little over 30 years ago, the most famous creatures of cryptozoology were Nessie and the Yeti, a sundry array of sea serpents, and the North American Bigfoot. In 1982, however, Following his return to the U.S. in December 1981, at the end of the second and two expeditions to the People's Republic of Congo, formerly known as the French Congo, veteran American cryptozoologist Professor Roy P. Mackle revealed to an astonished media and general public that the elusive swamp monster that he had been searching for in the Congo may conceivably be a living dinosaur. A new cryptozoological star had been born, an elusive long-necked mystery beast bearing an extraordinarily outward resemblance to a seropod, and known to the local Congonese pygmies as the Mokili Movembe. But this wasn't the only Congolese cryptid that Mackle's team had learned about during their forays there. Less familiar, but definitely no less interesting, was a second major mystery beast claiming by the pygmies to inhabit the country's last Lekwanian swamp lands. A truly extraordinary and exceedingly formidable horned creature known to them as the Emila Natuka, or Killer of Elephants. It's about the size of an elephant itself, but semi-aquatic. The Emila Natuka is said to have long, heavy tail, four sturdy limbs, and most notably of all, a long snout. On first sight, the cryptid sounds like some type of rhinoceros. However, its long, heavy tail differs dramatically from the short, lightweight version possessed by all known rhino species. So too does the horn of rhinoceros are nothing more than masses of compressed hair 
According to native testimonies, the Amola Natoka is said to resemble an ivory tusk of an elephant. Its ivory is only associated with tusk and teeth, not horns. However, it is probable that it is the pygmy's claims about it is correct, and the Amola Natoka's horn is composed of bone. Its behavior is also found distinctive. Although wholly herbivorous, the Amanatoka is claimed to be extremely belligerent. So much so that it even sometimes as mighty as an elephant or buffalo enters the lake in which one of these creatures is re residing, the latter will not hesitate to attack the intruder, stabbing and disemboweling its helpless victim with its formidable snout. Following his own investigation of this extraordinary beast, Mackel proposed, albeit cautiously, it may actually be a surviving ceratosaur or horned dinosaur, i.e. belonging to the group of huge herbivore dinosaurs that included such prehistoric st standards as the Triceratops and Steroptosaurus. Many Serapsians possess more than one horn, but at least one famous example, Centrosaurus, formerly the Monoclonius, bore only a single horn at the end of its nose, and reconstructions of the Serenosis Centosaurus certainly recall descriptions of the Eminatoka. However, because the beast horns of the Seropsians were truly horns, composed of bone, not hair may well be resembled ivory, but like the Emnala de Toka, and all Seropsian had long, heavy tails, providing yet another match with the Emela Natoka. J.E. Hughes published his book, 18 Years on Lake Bangwelu, in 1913, in which he reported that an animal that fits the description of the Emela Natoka although not referred to that by the, not by the same name, was slaughtered by Wahushi tribesmen along the shores of the Lapula River, which connects Lake Bangwehu to Lake Maruru. Imnalabatoka was mentioned by name for the first time in 1954 in his article in the journal Mammalia, authored by former Lekwania game inspector, Lucian Blackow, he stated that the Amanatokola was larger than a buffalo and dwelled throughout the Likwana. It was also Blanco who first mentioned the fact that the Amanatoka kills elephants, buffaloes, or hippos when disturbed, much like Mokila Moembe, allegedly renowned for hating hippos. While both animals are supposedly herbivores, they also supposedly share a fierce sense of territory. And it is for this reason the pygmies are claiming to fear it more than any other dangerous animal. In about 1930, an Emino Natoka was supposedly killed near Dongo. Later evidence was contributed to Dr. Roy P. Mackel, who led two expeditions into the Congo in 1981, gathered details on various other cryptids, 1987 saw the publication of Mackell's book, A Living Dinosaur, whereas he summarized the expedition. A planned season two episode of the New Zealand documentary World Mysteries included an interview with a man who claimed to have encountered a dead Emilia Natoka. He claimed it still possessed the animal's horn, which he removed from the body, and the episode was filmed but never aired. Mysteries of film production, why put so much together but release nothing? It happens usually though, release right problems and all. With the current found footage craze, it could be ideal for that. We can only hope, as well as find out about the guy's horn, test the sample it, or maybe they did and the results may not have been what they wanted, so they canceled the project. While in process, adding to the very mythology.